Smite 2 is the next generation of cross-platform third-person MOBA. This is a true sequel to Smite, fully modernized and rebuilt from the ground up in Unreal Engine 5. That's a two-generation leap over Smite's Unreal 3, which first released back in 2006. It's got the depth of strategy and tactics that you can only find in a three-lane MOBA. Competition is core to our DNA, and rest assured that Smite 2 is a competitive game that rewards your time and your skill. But unlike those other MOBAs, Smite 2 has amazing third-person combat. Whether you're coming from MOBAs, shooters, action games, or MMOs, you'll feel so you can feel more like a god with additional impact on every hit. Weapon movements leave trails, making attacks more visible. Upper and lower body animations are more in sync, positioning your character within the action. Specific animations and effects have been retuned to add more impact than before. CC status and immunity are now clearly communicated on nameplates, so it's easier to read the flow of combat. And work has been done on the UI and user experience to make sure you truly feel when you're hitting your enemies and being Don't hit. want to have to decide now what finished item you'll need in five minutes? Don't worry, just build a bow and every single item with attack speed can be built out of that bow. And you'll have more creative builds than ever before. Gods are no longer just magical or physical. Each god will now have two different sources of power, strength and intelligence. Different abilities within each god's kit will scale differently and all gods will be able to build all items. Face Punch Ymir with crit is back. Hunters that used to do it all like Kernanos now will need to build Int in order to increase damage on certain abilities, like his polymorph. And ambush your enemies from new stealth zones, and make clutch rotations through portals connecting outer lanes. Battle against the Fire Giant, fully equipped with new abilities and new tactical approaches. Like the back door, you can open to sneak in for a steal. Earn game-changing buffs as you defeat the Gold Fury, culminating in the Ancient Fury, a new game-ending objective. Gain every advantage through mastering new lane and jungle mechanics. New minion formations and siege minions will make the world all updated for UE5. Some, like Loki, stay true to the god you love in Smite 1. They just look a lot better. Others, like Anubis, have incredible new animations and godly effects, flexing the power of UE5. Some are reimagined with new abilities. That's right, Ymir's wall now knocks up enemies, and he can use it to rocket jump at least as much as a frost giant. Cloth simulation, higher polygon counts, and a whole slew of other features that we weren't able to take advantage of in Smite. Our goal has been to enhance the visuals in all areas while preserving the feel of Smite that our players love. We've made improvements to things like animation, effects, environment art. Allowing for a smoother flow while adding context and impact. Ability effects are all new, taking full advantage of Niagara. Watch how Anher's pillage is off into sand, how Chalk's rain wets the ground, and how Ymir's wall freezes the nearby environment. What's too worthy, you ask? This isn't just a slightly larger than normal season. It's not a balanced pass that we're calling a sequel. Smite 2 is the next generation of cross-platform third-person MOBA. This is a true sequel to Smite, fully modernized and rebuilt from the ground up in Unreal Engine 5. That's a two-generation leap over Smite's Unreal 3, which first released back in 2006. We've got a lot to talk about today, so let's get started. Smite 2 has all the things you already love about Smite, and so much more. It's got the depth of strategy and tactics that you can only find in a three-lane MOBA. Competition is core to our DNA, and rest assured that Smite 2 is a competitive game that rewards your time and your skill. But unlike those other MOBAs, Smite 2 has amazing third-person combat. Whether you're coming from MOBAs, shooters, action games, or MMOs, you'll feel instantly at home. And of course, Smite 2 feels great on keyboard and mouse, or on controller. Naturally, Smite 2 has a diverse roster of gods representing mythological pantheons from around the world, all updated for UE5. Some, like Loki, stay true to the god you love in Smite 1. They just look a lot better. Others, like Anubis, have incredible new animations and godly effects, flexing the power of UE5. Some are reimagined with new abilities. That's right, Ymir's wall now knocks up enemies, and he can use it to rocket jump, at least as much as a frost giant can jump. And some have an all new look that stays true to their Smite 1 legacy while updating it for a new era. Here's an early look at Smite 2's Neath, who feels much more mythologically appropriate than before. And of course, Smite 2 has all new gods. Introducing Hekati, whose flowing robes and otherworldly effects are only possible in UE5. Hekati, the Greek goddess of sorcery, has been the single most community requested god for Smite. Players have felt her impact in Smite for years through the item Ring of Hikati, but now they will finally be able to play as the legendary witch herself. Hikati brings an elegant playstyle to Smite 2 with her ranged magical abilities. 
Her magic allows her to reach through dimensions and even travel within the liminal space itself. Hecate's flames can guide the way or her sorcery can bring gods to a halt. The choice is yours. Hecate is the first of five all new gods coming to Smite 2 before launch. But we can't give everything away just yet. Smite 2 is more than just Smite. Smite 2 is our chance to go back, take all the learnings from 10 years of making Smite into one of the most successful multiplayer games of all time, and do it all strictly better. Not just better in some ways and worse than others, but undeniably better. There are improvements you'll see straight away. Smite 2 leverages things like dynamic lighting, using physically based rendering, cloth simulation, higher polygon counts, and a whole slew of other features that we weren't able to take advantage of in Smite. Our goal has been to enhance the visuals in all areas while preserving the feel of Smite that our players love. We've made improvements to things like animation, effects, environment art, but we're just as proud of the hundreds of little touches. We focused on things that you'll appreciate even if you don't consciously notice them. Smite 2 should just feel better. For example, something as simple as a jump animation is at a major overhaul, allowing for a smoother flow while adding context and impact. Ability effects are all new, taking full advantage of Niagara. Watch how Anher's pillar dissolves into sand, how Chalk's rain wets the ground, and how Ymir's wall freezes the nearby environment. These effects will increase your immersion in the world and your sense of godly power. We looked at every god and made subtle changes to stay true to the god, whether it's a visual balance pass, an overall fresh coat of paint, or minor proportional changes so Chalk doesn't have a dab bot anymore. No matter how big or small, We've been looking into everything and working hard to really push the boundaries of what Smite 2 can be. Every aspect of the presentation is being considered to create an improved experience. Smite 2 is also strictly better technically than Smite in pretty much every way imaginable. Our new Rally Here backend supports millions of concurrent users. Smite 1 players know that our old monolithic matchmaking core had a tendency of dying long before we had that many players. Smite 2 will have an all new custom matchmaking system, which is specifically designed to tackle the unique challenges of matchmaking for a MOBA and Ranked will be reimagined with a brand new system that aims to bring the competition to more players than ever, while creating a true uncapped battle for the number one spot in the world. Smite One's UI runs on Flash. Yes, that Flash, which has long kept us from creating a modern UI with polish and performance that's finally possible in Smite 2. And Smite 2 is a next-gen native title, taking full advantage of modern hardware. Smite 2 will support full crossplay across PC, Steam Deck, Xbox Series X and S, and PlayStation 5. Smite 2 is a game where fighting feels strictly better than ever, so you can feel more like a god with additional impact on every hit. Weapon movements leave trails, making attacks more visible. Upper and lower body animations are more in sync, positioning your character within the action. Specific animations and effects have been retuned to add more impact than before. CC status and immunity are now clearly communicated on nameplates, so it's easier to read the flow of combat. And work has been done on the UI and user experience to make sure you truly feel when you're hitting your enemies and being hit. And perhaps most importantly, it's a game with strictly better tactical and strategic depth than Smite 1. We've completely overhauled the idea of items and relics in Smite 2 to open the doors for more creativity, expression, and experimentation in every game you play. First up, relics are gone, at least as you know them. Now every god has two buttons by default, purification beads to immune crowd control, and a warding slot used specifically for your choice of vision control options. What about the other former relic options and items? Well, now your entire six slot item inventory can potentially have an activated effect, triggered by a button press. If you want blink, buy a blinking amulet. And don't worry, if you don't want to think about using any extra buttons in combat, you can still build items that are focused on stats and passives instead. The choice is yours in this new system. The item store is now easier to navigate, with an entirely new way to build items. Want to cool it down item and don't want to scour 30 different trees? Don't want to have to decide now what finished item you'll need in five minutes? Don't worry, just build a bow, and every single item with attack speed can be built out of that bow. And you'll have more creative builds than ever before. Gods are no longer just magical or physical. Each god will now have two different sources of power, strength and intelligence. Different abilities within each god's kit will scale differently, and all gods will be able to build all items. Face Punch Ymir with crit is back. Hunters that used to do it all like Kernanos now will need to build Int in order to increase damage on certain abilities, like his Polymorph. And new hybrid utility options let Chalk build Int to buff his healing. And there's even more new in Smite 2 to reward you for tactically and creatively playing the Conquest map. Ambush your enemies from new stealth zones, and make clutch rotations through portals connecting outer lanes. Battle against the Fire Giant, fully equipped with new abilities and new tactical approaches. 
Like the back door, you can open the sneak in for a steal. Earn game-changing buffs as you defeat the Gold Fury, culminating in the Ancient Fury, a new game ending objective. Gain every advantage through mastering new lane and jungle mechanics. New minion formations and siege minions will make laning more rewarding, while an evolving jungle introduces new strategy to jungling. And there's an all-new way to intentionally interact with the map through a button press. Use this to fight over the Warhorn, which strengthens your minions, or to pick up a buff. That's right, there are no more accidental buff pickups in Smite 2. As we've said before, Smite 2 is a true sequel to Smite and a new standalone game. So let's address the question on everyone's mind.